Converting y equals to mx plus b to ax plus by equals to c. We have here an example. We have y is equal to 7x plus 4. This is of the form y is equal to mx plus b. We're in m here is the slope and b is the y-intercept and this equation we are going to convert this to the form ax plus by equals to c so as you can see from here ax plus by x and y are on the same side and the constant which is c will be left on the other side okay so this is of the form y equals to mx plus b this is the m and this is the b okay so looking at this equation we need to transpose or transfer the term with the x variable to the side of the term with the y variable so meaning to say that this positive 7x we need to transpose that to the left side so that it will be together with the y variable okay now when we transpose if we transpose positive to the other side it will become negative and if we transpose negative to the other side it will become positive now since this is positive if we transpose that to the other side this will now become negative 7x and then y would still be positive so this will be positive y and 4 will remain on the right side this is still positive 4 okay ax so this is positive let's just make this as positive also so negative 7 to make this positive we need to multiply by negative 1 but take note whatever is multiplied on the left side must also be multiplied on the right so, so we will just enclose this by a parenthesis and then multiplying we have negative 1 multiplied by negative 7x this will be positive 7x negative 1 multiplied by positive y this is negative y and negative 1 multiplied by the positive 4 this is negative 4 so therefore y equals to 7x plus 4 this will now be equal to 7x minus y equals to negative and this is now our final answer let's have another problem we will have here y is equal to negative 11x plus positive 3 so we are going to convert this to the form ax plus by equals to c so as you can see we have to put on one side the variable or the terms with the variable x and the term with variable y so negative 11x is on the other side whereas positive y is on the other side we need to transpose or transfer negative negative 11x to the other side okay so we need to transpose that to the other side so transposing negative will become positive okay so negative 11x this will now become positive 11x plus y equals to positive 3 as you can see we have here a and 1 is our b here and we have here c so therefore this is already of the form ax plus by equals to c since this is already of the form ax plus by equals to c this will now be our final answer let's have another example we have here y is equal to two-third x we are going to make this of the form ax plus by equals to c 
Looking at the, our given equation, we can see that there is no constant or there is no C. So what we need to do is that we just need to transfer or transpose this whole term to the other side. But take note, we have here a denominator. But take note, we have here a fraction. And we cannot just easily transpose 2 over 3x to the other side. Okay, so what we need to do is that y will be equal to is equal to 2 over 3x. So we need first to cancel out 3 here on the denominator. To do this, we need to multiply. We need to multiply both sides of the equation by 3. So multiplying, we will have y multiplied by 3 this will be 3y and this will be equal to 3 multiplied by 2 2 third x this will be 3 multiplied by 2 over 3 x 3 divided by 3 here this will be equal to 1 this will now be 3y is equal to so what will be left here will be 2 X. So now we can transpose 2x to the other side. So transposing positive from positive, this will become negative. So this will now be negative 2x plus 3y equals to 0. Okay. So negative 2x plus 3y equals to 0 is of the form ax plus by equals to c. And this is now our final answer. Let's have another example. We have here y is equal to 3 over 5x plus positive 9. Since we have here a denominator, what we need to do is that we first have to eliminate the denominator. So to do this, we need to multiply both sides of the equation by 5. So 5 multiplied by y, this will be 5y. And then 5 multiplied by 3 over 5x, this will be 5 multiplied by 3 over 5x. And then we are also going to multiply 5 and positive 9. So this will be plus 5 multiplied by 9. 5 divided by 5 here, this will be equal to 1. Here 5y is equal to... 1 multiplied by 3x, this will be 3x plus 5 times 9, that is 45. Okay, now transpose this to the form ax plus by equals to c. We need to combine 3x and 5y, so we are going to transpose positive 3x to the other side. So from positive, this will become negative so this will now be negative 3x and that this would still be positive 5y and what will be left here will be positive 45 let's make negative 3x as positive so we are going to multiply all the terms by negative 1 so negative 3x multiplied by negative 1 this will become positive 3x Positive 5y multiplied by negative 1, this is negative 5y. And positive 45 multiplied by negative 1, this is negative 45. 3x minus 5y equals to negative 45 is now of the form ax plus by equals to c. And since this is already of the form ax plus by equals to c, this is now our final answer.